born in 1983 in Coney Island, a New York City neighborhood way past its heyday. My parents, two hardworking and loving people, took really good care of me <laughs> every now and then. Though I had no brothers or sisters, I did have a large extended Puerto Rican American family. And when I think back to my childhood, I think of the good times I had with them. We live right next to the beach, and the amusement park was only a 10 minute walk away. It seemed picture perfect. Never did I realize that we were living in one of the most violent neighborhoods in New York City, literally seething with crack dealers and gangsters. When I was around six or seven, something really big happened to my family. I remember it vaguely, though it seems like some sort of cartoon-like dream. My cousin Wati was coming home from a Bible study class, and as she got off the elevator, she was suddenly shot in the chest by a stray bullet. Fired by some gang members in the building next to us. She was only 10 years old. She survived. But that event convinced my parents that Coney Island in the 80s was not a safe place to raise a kid. And slowly, one by one, the entire family moved to Fayetteville, North Carolina. My parents thought that getting out of the projects would give me a better chance of achieving the American dream and that we would all live happily ever after. Too bad only one of those came true. This robe looks kind of funny, David. It looks kind of old. Let me put my other robe on. Hi, I got a brand new one in blue. Let me I'm get it. The way you are. No, this one looks ugly. Look at all the bumps, and it shows that people are gonna say I look horrible. Wait, okay? Does that look better now, the robe? Yes. <laughs> it's nice and warm too. It was in 1981, almost 82. 81, and we worked together. It was called the Federation of the Handicapped, and then we got married in 1994. In 95, he was diagnosed, him, and while we were getting married, we had to rush him to the emergency room the same night. Uh, you know, I thank God that I have a wife, she takes good care of me. Ow. Oh. Yeah, that hurts right there. All right, I need some two by two and some tape, please. It's not in there. I need a lollipop. You need a lollipop. <laughs> There's been episodes where I go to the emergency room, I ask for my husband, like, can I see Mr. Guillermo Caballero? And they say, hold on, it's, um, your son has been called to back. I say, excuse me, that's not my son, that's my husband. It's like, and then he makes a joke at it, because I explained to him, and then the whole night he's like, my mother. And I'm like, excuse me, I'm your wife. So he thinks that's hilarious, and I don't. <laughs> that's your daughter right there, right? Yeah, that's my cinnamon. This is my baby, my little daughter I don't have. Anybody just sleep? Uh -huh. Hey, baby. What you bring me food? Di te mata el tomo ja cuando vino el thunderstorm vino corriendo. Oh sí, lloviendo mucho ahora. Down, cinnamon, down. Be good girl. I just got my lawsuit from H and R Block, one hundred and fifty-four dollars. Thank you, Lord. He has blessed me. No, David, I didn't have only $3 on my account. Thank you, but I'll save money to treat you to the movies. I gotta give Grandma 20 for the dog. She ripped something up. Yes! In the hospital, the, the girl kept on taking my ankle and it showed that it was high, my blood pressure. And all the time it was low, so they kept on popping me with blood pressure pill till my heart stopped. That's when Mommy, um, Thank God, mommy was there. You're not able to die.
I didn't feel no pain. It would feel so good. And then all of a sudden, I felt like being pulled, pulled back. <laughs> you ever stood beside your bed and just went back? You ever done that? Yeah. That's the same way I felt going back into my body. <laughs> After that, I just wanted to live. So, that's, what that's what I'm saying because um, the that bill hasn't come, okay. and then like sometimes it's like thirty dollars, and I pay it, you know, because I think my anxiety bills if I kind of let them stack them, but then I'm overwhelmed because I see a bill here and there, and then sometimes you know I bug my son. Oh yeah, I mean you know that's bad. You let them pay it with charity care, mm -hmm. then you have missed your chances of qualifying for Medicaid. Like two months before that, I, I planned to come down and surprise you guys. Mm -hmm. And um, I came down and you just seen the look on mom's face. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah the she saw me like Vito took me and he was like recording from the hallway and she, th she just saw that like Vito was recording um, was recording her and then I surprised her and she goes, Oh my god, my son! Ah! Uh, and she starts crying. <laughs> Surprise! There's your flowers. Hi, Bob. What you doing here? Yeah, that was a good surprise. I mean, like that. Oh, I see her. I see her. But it's a dollar. It's no, no. Really? Oh, Dollar General. Yeah, yeah. Cause I go to Dollar Store a lot. Dollar General, Dollar Store, Family Dollar. Those are my stores. Let me see you. <laughs> it's a bit ironic, I know, that I would return back to the very place my parents were happy to leave. But after obtaining the Bill Gates Millennium Scholarship, I decided to go back to New York City for college and to pursue a passion in film. In less than three years, I managed to get a bachelor's degree, two MTV Movie Award nominations, and even an orchestral premiere at Lincoln Center. As I wrap up my final year of grad school at NYU, I never forget about the life I left behind in North Carolina. I even went so far as to buy my parents a computer so we could have occasional video chats. Hi, Bobby. Hi. How you guys doing? You okay. missed me yet? The third call I got, but they said that he's a good match, but uh, can we afford the medicines? But I told so you're saying you dad can't get a transplant until, until you come up with a way of getting money or proving you have money before right. you can get back right. on the list? It bothers me a lot. You know, they tell you something good, whatever, and all of a sudden they come up with this other thing and get you your hope high, you mm -hmm. know, and all of a sudden, you know, it's like you crash down, you know, they oh, forget about you, then you don't got no money, you know. And, <laughs> I told it to I was going to go fucking hell, you know. All you want is just money, but I control myself. I get the phone to mommy and say, I don't want to hear you no more. Yeah. Yeah. Juliana. 34. What's your name? Mm, sugar. Mm, sugar? Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, honey. Oh, I am. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you, I promise. Okay? What's my name? Look, focus. No, it's not 44. What's your name, hon? Junior, what's your name? How long? This is too long. 32. 15 minutes. No. What's your son's name? You have a son? You have a son? What's his name? What's your son's name? 